the purpose of Egypt's Great Pyramid revealed by the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, uncovered by mysterious lost structures. According to a historian based on Herodotus' descriptions, the Great Pyramid of Giza may not have been built to become a tomb. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. The Great Pyramid of Giza, or the Pyramid of Cheops, or simply the Great Pyramid, continues to arouse the interest of the scientific community. At 481 feet high, it was the tallest building in the world for more than 3,800 years. But maybe the truth is a little different as to why it was built. According to historian Matthew Simpson, researcher of ancient civilizations, the Great Pyramid of Giza was originally constructed as a giant water pump and not a grave. Egypt's Great Pyramid uncovered by mysterious lost structures. The two lost pyramids of Lake Moeris may prove the Great Pyramid of Giza was built to be a giant water pump and not tombs, an ancient history expert claims. Dr. Simpson came to this conclusion based on the descriptions of the Greek historian Herodotus about the two quote-unquote lost pyramids of Lake Moeris, of which little is known, or Moeris. In prehistory, it was a huge freshwater lake with an area estimated to range between 1,270 square meters and uh, square kilometers, that is, and 1,700 square kilometers. And today, it still exists as a smaller saltwater lake called Birket Karan. So, as Simpson points out, then the locals had told Herodotus, who soon visited Egypt in 490 BC, that's about the time of the Battle of Marathon, that were there, there were two giant structures covered in water. That is, they had sunk. And they meant, of course, the Great Pyramid and the smaller one next to it. If Herodotus' description is correct, the fact that two of Egypt's largest pyramids were built inside Egypt's largest lake should have told us something about their purpose. This is what the historian said. Matthew believes that the two pyramids could not be tombs, for they were simply submerged at least six months a year. He says they were flooded at the time of Herodotus. So there would certainly be a risk of flooding in earlier times when the lake was probably even deeper. I've translated this from a Greek article, the other Sika, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.